Ah, oh, all right, we lost our helmet. That's what I thought would happen. Ooh. Interesting. Ah. That was amazing. We just went flying. No, the only fashion trend this game allows is gone. I know, right? We got we definitely gotta get a new fancy hat. As long as we make sure we don't get yeeted. This seems like a very big workplace safety hazard. Ah! Yeah, see? Sama gets it. Just a little, just a little yeeting into the void. No big deal. Alright, what does this do? I see. We need this to be right there, I think. I think that's the place we need it. Oh! We need it to protect us. Damn, that was brutal. No! Uh... All right. Man, that's some very powerful, like, shock waves going on over there. Ouch. Reminds you of ragdoll games? Yeah! Alright, so... How do we... Yeah, we can put that there. Wait. If we put that there... We can't climb all the way up before a thump happens. How are we to make it to the next area of safety? Um, maybe? Tactical roll! Nope. We got close, though. Hmm. Maybe we can make the climb? Maybe I'm just not doing it right. Let's try this again. Nope. We cannot make the climb. The climb is a little bit too high. Our little, little tiny little child arms are too weak. Eh, fuck it. Good enough. Uh, let's wait for the next pulse. can't grab anything over here. Am I maybe safe here? I am not safe there. Noted. They have to do mega parkour to get there fast? Maybe. Let's see. No! Not what I meant to do. What am I missing here? Is 
there something that gets broken, maybe? Like, I see various things coming off. wonder if, like, selective blocking will knock something loose, maybe? I'm dumb. I know what to do now. I just realized. I'm a fool. Alright, I got this. Alright. Oh, I messed it up. I need to have it on. And I need it to be on the ladder about when I'm climbing it. Wow, the music changed. Interesting. There we go. Yes! Success! I timed it wrong. Damn it. Right, I need to wait a little bit longer. You're both dumb. I don't think we were dumb, but it was a bit of an obtuse puzzle when it requires you to, or it gives you the ability to uh, stop and start the thingamabob. But it does make sense. It lets you sort of line things up. Uh, ah, I'm spinning. Not me. Are these? These are dummies. Is this like an uh, experiment to see what the effect of this pulse was? I was like, why, did, why, why wouldn't I just keep going? What's wrong? <laughs> wait, 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 no! Oh, they didn't kill us. Why did they kill us over there then? The comedian says they're dummies in their company. Yeah, yeah. Wait, why is it... Is it just between those two... Oh, I think between those two lights, there is a... A way for the rail to move. Alright, so we need to wait for it to pulse, and then... We need to cross this area. Ah, we almost made it! Yar fuck. Oh, it's because there's no rail at all, because I realized the, the metal thing is on the other side. So we just do this. There we go, and we got it to the next rail. That seems a little bit dangerous. Uh... It pulses. We jump down here. We get protected. This music is very hopeful for... 
<laughs> for that. Like it's, it's, we're getting a bit of a, a triumphant serenade going on. Like we're about to be enlightened. Meanwhile, we're just getting killed. I think we're out of the sound waves. I think we're safe. Uh, um, I'm sure that's fine. Dial is strong. Well, I mean, it's 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 like a mine mining elevator. Oh no! Oh no! Shit! 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 Oh no! 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 Let me out! Let me out! Oh no! Oh no. Let me out. Um Ha. Huh. Uh fuck. Um come on dude. I need you to I need you to get out. Uh, open. Open. Swim, swim, swim. Swim, swim, swim. Okay, we're back in the water. Great, fantastic, amazing. Now before we progress, you always know, gotta always gotta check around. I don't see anything to the right. Check to the left. We're going to accidentally drown because I forgot how high the surface was. Can I even go back to the surface? Let's see. See if we can make it back to the surface. Ah, it auto drowns you. All right, noted. It does not want us resurfacing. Survey says, leap! No big deal, no big deal, easy peasy. Hmm, what fresh horrors are we getting to unleash now is the question. Shit, hold on, my face itches. Ah. Most of my videos on YouTube or other platforms. I have been working on getting my videos to YouTube as VODs. Um, right now, I've been slowly getting all of my Rain World up, because that's my first priority. Um, the I've gotten all my Survivor, and the rest of my Hunter playthrough should be finishing up this weekend. And then I will be moving on to the Downpour Slugcats, which I played in chronological order. So those will also start uploading um, over the weekend. Or over the next week, I should say. I'm, uh... Not sure what to do about... I don't know. I don't I don't really have the head for short-form media. So I haven't bothered with, like, 
Oh, that actually broke my legs. Don't have to do any... Uh... Oh, Artif... Oh, I loved Artificer. Artificer is definitely one of my favorites. Um, I do feel a little dumb on that one because I spent a good chunk of it thinking that it was like the hunter and that... <laughs> a kid just went thunk right against the edge of a cube. Do I even, why do I have two of them? I can just go over here and press the button. Uh, I thought the artificer just had um, a negative reputation. So I tried for a good long while at the start to improve my reputation so they would not be hostile to me. Um, and then, and then the flashback started happening and I was like, oh, I see. Okay, I see what I need to do. I need this, this, go over here, hit that, we hit that, and we do a little, we do a bit of leapfrogging. A little bit of leapfrogging. And this child certainly does not have uh, invulnerable bones. Kids these days can't even face plant a metal cube and survive. Pfft. Back in my day, soccer was played with solid tungsten spheres. Hmm. Scavers and Artificer both can be broken, so I wonder how much death he had. Yeah, I certainly died a lot. Um, I do want to kind of go back real quick and get um, the more standard way to end, to put it in a non-spoilery way for anyone who may have not played Rain World and doesn't really know what I'm talking about. Um, because I feel like there is going to be... Sort of like how Hunter had a slightly different um, cutscene when they got to the end. I feel like Artificer is going to have something different. But I think what I might do is I might just use uh, some quick dev tool teleporting. And just get that end cutscene and then just splice it into the end of the Artificer playthrough. Just for completion's sake. You haven't played Rain Roll, but you couldn't get to the endings? Oh. Well, I hope you're in for a treat. I do try to be a little bit descriptive uh, with the timestamps. Also, it seems like the floaty ghost child has an umbilical cord. I see like a red cable going down. And it's not aware of us. Because I know on my Hunter playthrough, I especially wanted to note that, um... Oh. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no! 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 This is bullshit! I made it to the cable! Um, on my Hunter playthrough, it took me two hours to get out of the uh, start location because I was not doing well. And so I'm like, hey, if you get tired of me dying, skip to part whatever the heck because uh, that's, when I, that's when I finally get past this area. But my Hunter playthrough ended up a little bit more unhinged than most of my playthroughs because that one I kind of accidentally marathoned it all in one sitting. So it was just like nine hours of me play. <laughs> so I got, I started getting a little bit out of it by the end. <laughs> I sort of just got sucked into it and then I'm, it's like 4 a.m. I'm like, all right, we finished the game. I'm going to take a nap before work. Bye. <laughs> hmm. Sail!
Come on, come on, come on! Oh, that was so close. Hey, I hate this. I hate this. Oh, do I hate this? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just very satisfying, the metal chains. Uh... Did I just... Oh, it's going back and forth? Why does that matter? <gasps> oh, I know why this matters, because we're going to need a lot of distance. So we need her to be on this left side. Ooh, look at me! Look at me! I'm all the way over here! Oh! Oh, I fucked up. Nope. I need to jump in the water and then I can jump up and grab the chain to pull me back. Hmm, interesting. Oh, thank you for the head pats. Well, dang, if, uh, if you haven't gotten to any of the endings, I guess, uh, earlier this morning, <laughs> uh, I guess that was a, a bit of a spoiler. Oh! oh, I cannot jump up and get the chain, I see. Uh huh. Do I maybe dangle at the bottom and then climb up? No shot. Hmm. It seems we are doing worse. Come on, kid, swim! Swim! This is like anti-lifeguards. Instead of trying to prevent you from drowning, they, uh, they make sure you drown. Alright, so we drag her over there. Now, we should have extra time for over here. We need to get down to this button, nice. Push the button, Croc! Ah! We needed a bit more distance. A bit more distance. Very close. Now I don't know why that music earlier was being so enlightened, because I feel like we are back to things being spoopy. Okay, so she's down there. I feel like we can get a little bit of extra distance by not, um, by like, doing a running jump off of the platform before we hit the water. I think that little bit of extra distance will be everything that matters. There we go. Oh, we barely have enough oxygen. All right, let's dive down just to see if we find anything. Nope, not seeing anything. All right. Hmm. We have two ropes now. I saw the yellow cable going over there. 
Hmm. I don't see anything to go into. Hmm. Why do you give me a cable here, game? Away! So if the yellow cable's down there, how do I get in there? Or up there? Hmm. Hmm. What am I missing? Let's see what's through this door. Maybe we'll get something we can use. Oh! Nope. It is a point of no return! Ah, fuck! Shit! Don't drown me! Now we can go back underwater. Love that for me. Uh, spoilers. I don't love that. I hate that, in fact. Alright, we need to open that up. Get out! Alright. Now we gotta do a bit of whoop-de-loop. That's what I'm calling it. Copyright. Trademarked. No one else can use that phrase. We get her over here. And then we go down, we close the button, and we get through the door, leaving her behind. Let's not drown! Alright, we didn't drown. Good job, Drecky. No drowning. And a whole bunch of cardboard boxes. We got a chain to climb up. Uh, I'm not sure if anything's down there. Go ahead and climb up. Ah, shit! Are you fucking with me? Wait a minute, it's not game open. Okay, so that's a cutscene death. Alright. What do we got now? What are you doing to me? Where are you taking me? further down. Well, now I'm thinking of Soma. Deep into the depths. Oh. Something's attached to me? I mean, yellow is like the helmets. But it's attached to my chest. Guess we're swimming with the fishes. We get injected with something? Did the others drown us because they couldn't bring us to whatever it was that was jabbed into us? going on. Uh, 
Oh shit, we can breathe underwater! Holy crap! Interesting. I wonder if those creatures' job was to bring people to the the little thing that gives you infinite breath. Question is I don't know, that looks like a person that's drowned in the background. Maybe I'm wrong. I like how all the fish are following us. I am your new leader, fish. Call me... Water person. Yeah, see, there's a cable to that person in the foreground, but they're D.E.D. -E -D dead. Hmm. More... More questions are raised. I wonder if we're going to have a new major enemy, because we were avoiding, like, the people and the dogs. Then we were avoiding the... swim girls. The swim... I don't know if they were girls, but just the swimming creatures. I feel like we're about to enter, like, Act 3. I mean, we can go up, but why go up when we can check down first? Actually, down looks like the way we're supposed to go, because there's that iris. Alright, this area is way too big for there not to be something hidden. Try and keep an eye out. What is this? What are you? Alright, we opened something. What do we have over here? It'd be really annoying if this is the way we're supposed to go and not through the iris. I feel that's not right, because it's usually going to the right is the overall goal. We haven't really, like, left as. Yeah, there we go! There's a weird orb. Ma, I found a weird orb. Unfathomable. Take a deep breath. Okay, achievement names. Looks like somebody had fun with the writing in this game. Now that I think about it, we haven't heard anyone speak. Or really seen any writing. All the story that we've been told is purely through the environment, which I fucking love. It's one of the reasons I loved Hollow Knight. It's one of the reasons I loved Rain World. It's difficult to do, but damn, is it satisfying. Uh. I see. So there's fans, and then they kind of vent. Oh, shit! Oh, that scared me. Fans venting, yeah. 
What was that? Wait, is that sunlight? How is it sunlight? We've gone so far down. What? Was this place built into a volcano or something? Are, are we in like, what is it? Kilimanjaro? Blood and ashes. Oh, we got some more lights to avoid. Oh shit. Oh shit. No, 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 no. How'd this kid get all the way over here? I don't know, Bob. I don't know. All right, we're going to need to get it on the way back. That seems to be the actual way we're going to be able to. Oh, we move the shadow thingamabob. Bob, I'm a thingamajig. I fucked up! I thought it would turn faster. Every gamer avoids the sun's right. Exactly. Basically vampires. Electronic vamp e vampires. Like a it's like an e-girl, only, you know, vampiric. Uh huh. Nope, nope. Alright, now I think I can get it directly overhead. Are you fucking with me, dude? Come on, come on! It's slightly offset. Oh, this is what I get for trying to get a whole ton of progress all at once. Do that. Let me do this. Get it over here. All the way over here. I think we're going to have to jump from the ladder onto the thing onto the upper ledge. Future version of vampires is going to talk trash to you. Well, we get our we get our cyberpunk vampires. That'd be kind of cool. Um, let's make sure we get in the shadow. Yep, yep. Don't want to get slagged right here while we're at the end. Go here. We go there. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. We are making progress. Hmm. I think we have to land in that water tank or we die. Sail! Good dive, everyone. Good dive. That's the way to go. So let's look inside the tank for a second. Now that we can swim, I don't need to worry about drowning. Granted, this tank would be a strange place to put an orb. In my opinion. Yep, it's just a tank full of water and some fish. Cool. Plot twist, it had piranhas. Yeah, but I'm I'm water person, you know, I can I'm friends to the to the fish. Um What? Hold on. Wait, wait, there we go. What? What? What is this? What is this? 
What is this? Why is the water up? Why are they upside down? The fuck is this? Oh. I didn't jump. Draggy, you didn't jump, you stupid fool. Alright, I can open or close that. Interesting. Okay, let's get back up there and see what the fuck is going on. Uh, and this is going to connect to the fish tank. Yup. Alright, let's try this again. There's people connected to those helmets. Oh. Uh. Okay, it moves us up, but like. Whoop to do. I feel like um, this isn't what physics is supposed to be doing. You know, like, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think water's supposed to be down. Or hanging in there. Listen here, you little shit. <laughs> They're certainly flying high. Hmm. Alright, if I close that button... Let's see if it made any changes to that room. So I'm wondering if it maybe lowered the water? It's like, there's another button in that room, I believe. Wonder what Brutal does? Hmm, I do wonder. Alright, yeah, that door is closed. Is this other button now lit up? No, it is not. So what? Oh, now it's time for some brutality. <laughs> the fact that the filter goes over all my avatars, so now, like, even the t-shirt and stuff is like... <laughs> Big needs. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. I love it. Yeah, the way I usually price things, if it's cheap, it's usually a lot more simple. If it's a lot more disruptive, I make it more and more expensive. Like a lot of the, uh, like basically, basically just fucking around with filters. Pretty cheap. Alright, so far this has been a bit of a waste. I'm gonna press that again. See, what the fuck is over here? If this is a point of no return... No, oh, there's a ladder. I'm still kind of confused. Hmm... What could possibly happen? Ah, oh, I wanted it to crunch us. <laughs> I thought it would have been funny. Hmm. Goes up. You can stop it. 
drinking tea with way too much sugar. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not much of a tea drinker. I tend to drink coffee. Black, because I'm too lazy to mix anything in. All right, can we climb up? How would we... Get up? Hmm, but if we go up... Hmm... Oh, I know what to do. I got it. There we go. It just needed to do a little bit of breaking. Now the question is... Oh, hold on. I messed up. Okay, I love this. This game has some very fun physics puzzles. This is this is the good shit. Colossus style. Ooh. I actually did uh work work has like, you know, just fucking generic coffee and tea, but before they 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 did the usual record profits, but we're cutting everything um, thing. They had a lot more tea options, and one of them I actually really loved was like a a mixed wildberry blend. Um, that was really delicious. You know, it had it had a little bit of a little bit of sweetness from the sugar and the fruits, but it also had just a real variety of flavor. Like, mm, it was fantastic. Okay, what if I daisy chain these? You know? Oh, I messed up! Hold on, let's try this again. We need to pull this one. Let me pull this one. Let me pull this one. Ah, I messed up. Hmm. So if I pull this out. Trying to get invested in, in tea. Imagine one anime protagonist gets in trouble and says, where the fuck does this plot go? <laughs> I mean, I would love for a fourth wall breaking anime where, like, I, I read, uh, I don't know if it was like a, a, a Reddit post or something of like, someone, like, the universe tries to make them a protagonist and they actively avoid it. It's like, oh, the transfer student has walked in. Oh, Susan, we're going to place him next to you. And Susan's like, nope, I'm out. I'm out. Fuck this. Just like, Avoiding every very obvious anime uh, uh, call to action possible. Um, okay, what I could do is this. Whee! It still went thunk. Uh, I didn't do it right. Hmm. So I feel like there's a way for me to launch this one off of its pipe as well. But what I need to happen is I need it to come down so I can pull it again. So if I do this... Prime this, push it under, climb up. 
Up, and then up. There we go. Did that do anything? No, it did not. All right. But you know what? We proved that we can. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Good job. Probably that guy. <laughs> Gotta go right now? No problem, Smile. Oh, thank you for the head pass. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your evening and a good eep. I'll see you the next time I see you. Hmm. I launch it up there? I don't think I can launch it up there. Oh, maybe I need to climb this yellow pole, though. Ah! We need to hit the button and get back over there. There we go. Oh, that was a secret. Um, I thought this was legit the way to go. Interesting. 